All you can eat buffet workers what are your horror stories? Years ago, I worked at an all you can eat country buffet in South Carolina. I was a busboy. One day, I went to a table. It was a mess, as per usual. It looked to be a large family slash group of families of around 12 people or so. The thing that stuck it in my memory is that whenever they had finished with what they were going to eat, they would scrape their plate and use it again. Scrape their plates. Onto the floor next to their chairs. So next to each chair, there was a 6 inch to 18 inch pile of chicken bones, crab legs, mashed potatoes, remnants of backed potatoes, etc. Just disgusting. I bus at a slightly nicer restaurant. On Fridays and Sundays we offer a prime rib and crab leg buffet, among a salad bar, hot and cold entrees, and a desert bar. It's honestly pretty nice and our buffet runner keeps anyone from doing ungodly things to the buffet. But the one incident that will always stand out to me was when this family of 5 came in. From the moment they came in to the moment they left, they ate as many crab legs as they possibly could. Their server and I were clearing plates off as fast as we could. But every time we would return it seemed like another mountain of crab leg shells would appear in front of each member of that family. I know not how they ate so much, and I honestly can't recall if they are anything besides the crab. Piles upon piles of shells were left upon the table after they left. It was truly a sight to behold. What's more is, after I wiped down the table and came back with settings, I had to get another egg to wipe down the table again because something in the crab leg juice combined with our sanitizer and left a nice milky residue upon the table. Delicious. When I leave this job I'll never be able to look at crab legs the same way. I don't know what it is man, but I cannot get full on crab legs. I can eat the entire buffet. I'm a tall skinny dude btw and barely eat much of anything. But give me all the crustaceans you've got and I'll eat it all. Not mine but I had a buddy who was 400 plus LBS, and the dude could put away some food. He went to a casino buffet that was one of the higher end ones that had crab legs and steak. On about his 4th or 5th plate stacked full of crab legs the manager came out and gave him $250 in free slot plate to leave the buffet. Edit. So I linked this to my buddy who pointed out that there were two other dudes there and none of them was under 300 LBS. They killed a metric duck ton of food between them, and he was putting them to shame. The buffet was higher end, so it was $50 a person, but they easily all ate probably 3 to 4 times that, and he ate probably 8 to 10 times that worth in food. He then went on win just over $100 with that free slot play as well. If you can't beat the casinos at the games, beat him at the bar or buffet. A woman came in with two of her kids, and had a pretty regular meal. You pay when you leave at our place, and she decided to sneak out with her younger daughter before paying, leaving her underage son alone at the table. We caught on pretty quick, and sent someone after her, who found her in her car in the parking garage, waiting for her son to come as well. She refused to come back in and pay, so we had to keep her son hostage until the police came to handle the situation. What some people will do to their kids, I swear. Edit. Forgot to mention we also found out from her son that she stole one of the manager's key cards, and they would regularly come into the hotel and use the card to go swimming in the top floor pool. Smart. I'll give her that, but still. I did something similar, but not maliciously. My wife and I went out to eat at a local Thai place, and after dinner I realized I forgot my wallet and my wife didn't bring her purse. I left my wife as collateral and dashed home and back in record time. What's your wife worth? My first job was as a dishwasher in an all-you-can-eat fried catfish buffet. People are animals, especially the ones that get far more food off the buffet than they can eat. Then they take the leftovers and pile them on a plate or tray, cover in ketchup and tartar sauce, then pour their iced tea over the top of all that. A lot of people did that got at least two plates like that a night. Nothing made me hate people like busing slash dishwashing on buffet night at the pizza place I worked at in college. What the duck. Serving after church crowd is pretty high up there though Jesus Christ would never have changed a dirty diaper on the table and left it there, okay beach. Went as a customer to a golden corral. Im walking to the chocolate fountain and three little girls step in front of me and all three of them just go hands deep in the fountain. 
the family was the first table by the fountain and all they did was laugh about how cute it was. Employees turned it off immediately. At least they turned it off, and I'm assuming, didn't let anyone eat it anymore. Buffet where I live, got shut down for serving coyote meat, and labeling it as other meats. At one point myself, and two other family members worked at a golden corral each in different sections, because small towns don't have a lot of job options for high school slash college kids. I worked in the bakery which was surprisingly low in horror stories other than the chaos that remained after a large group of children came through. My brother worked the steak station. He got these regulars, that would tip him pretty well, if he would prepare blue steaks for them. The very idea of ordering blue steaks from a buffet makes me gag. My cousin worked the salad bar. Management would require her to keep seafood items on the bar for long after the point where they'd be safe to consume. I think the record was chilled shrimp from Mother's Day that stayed for over a week and a half. They finally caved and let her toss them when a customer complained about the smell. You got everyone talking about blue steak, meanwhile week and a half old shrimp on the bar. Yeah that's horrifying. I'd report them for that. People could have been very seriously sick. Watched a man at the Ponderosa walk up to the buffet without a plate, untuck his t-shirt, pull the hem up to form a basket, reach into the steam tray of chicken wings with his bare hand and just load up on hot wings in his makeshift shirt bucket. The woman in the kitchen was like please sir, could you use a plate? Or just tongs? Guy scoffed and looked at her, like she'd asked him to don a tuxedo. Picked up some fish and chips recently, saw they had all you can eat on Wednesdays. So I asked what is the most that someone. 18 pieces of fish and 3 plates she held up this huge platter of fries. Every. Single. Wednesday. So he eats that exact order every week, yes, and he goes to a different back quote all you can eat every day of the week. He got banged from the Chinese place down the road. That's kind of sad. Obviously an eating addiction. Not a buffet, but I worked at a pizza parlor that offered a lunch buffet of endless pizza. The lunch ran from 11am to 3pm. This gentleman comes in I think he was homeless. He serves up a sky high plate of pizza and just goes to town. He stayed from the beginning to the very end to make sure he got his money's worth. Well, his body didn't appreciate being stuffed like a pinnator of pizza. He got up waddled fast to the bathroom and next thing I know I'm being told he had liquid shit trailing behind him to the bathroom and inside the bathroom. I was informed by my boss about the incident, I told him I was just heading out for a break. I was not about to clean that up. I was not about to clean that up. Fun fact, in the US, INF you are not certified in cleaning up biohazards your boss cannot make you clean up something like that, nor can they legally fire you for refusing. Edit, for duck's sake people know your rights. At will does not cover illegal firings. Yeah instead they'll fire you for being 5 minutes late that one time. My parents owned an all you can eat buffet, and I was there every day of my life from 4 to 14. My favorite horror story is, when a couple came in to eat obviously. They love eared the crab legs, and every time my mom puts them out, they took it all. Also, just a reminder, crab legs are expensive. Forget the other customers, they just took it, and ate it all. So they are there for maybe 2 hours now, and it's getting dark. They've eaten through at least a week's stock of crab legs and my mom finally decides it's enough. She stops putting it out in the buffet, and brings individual plates to the customers who wanted it, but couldn't get any due to this couple. Understandably, the couple is angry. They literally flip the chairs at their table, flip their plates, bowls, cups, etc and completely trashed their area. Food was all over the floor, table, chairs, sticky soda was dripping into the carpet. They left in a hurry, but someone caught their license plate. We called the cops and I think they said they charged them with something. I can't remember the aftermath details clearly, because I was probably 8 or 9 years old 20 now. I just remember looking at the mess, and feeling really angry that my sister, and I had to clean it up with our mom. It was a family run business, so we didn't have much help. Anyways, that's my horror story. The end. Edit. Type as cause I was on mobile. Something similar happened at a Chinese buffet in the town over from where I grew up. 
Only, I think the customers started fighting with each other over the crab legs. It was so bad it made the news. I'm pretty sure the place no longer serves crab legs lol. Not an employee or a customer, but we had a Chinese buffet shut down for a health code violation, which was employee was cutting veggies while taking a shit. To this day I still wonder if that means dude brought a bucket into the kitchen or veggies into the shitter and I honestly don't know which is worse. I gotta respect that dedication to work.